weeks before, actually fees must fall in up to that bits. I was representing vice chancellors in a public engagement with the president, President Zuma then, where actually he says that the vice chancellor is saying we are going to head for a major crisis in January 2016. We miscalculated. And there's going to be a huge eruption and that actually we want some interventions. <clears throat> that we were intervening with banks and saying here's the choices that we're heading for, here's the crisis, here are possible solutions. Now you might not agree with the solutions, but what you have to say is that it's not true that vice chancellors were not. There has been a plethora of work coming out of our fields in this whole in different formats, different uh, medium, um, whether it's been documentary film or academic texts or poetry, as, as Wandele has said, which is the most effective, I suppose, vessel and tool in which to capture that story? And, and, and as a contributor, how do, you, how, how do you think that's worked out? We were trying to kind of do that, to kind of capture the, I, I guess, uh, the variety of voices and, and, and different experiences and different modes of communication. We used a book, I guess, because that's one way of, 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 of making sure you archive. And a book is an archive that, that lasts longer. Uh, it, it lasts long. And it is able to, I guess, you can, you can be able to, 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 to challenge it 10 years from now. Uh, you can be able to come back and say, hey, listen, maybe uh, these are ideas that, that were spoken about. For a lot of us that did contribute, um, you'll see some of those contributions are quite dated in terms of the, the time when the book came out and when those contributions were actually written. Um, and there were some of us for whom writing in a reflection about Fees Must Fall felt a bit too soon. Um, and it felt too soon um, on the one hand because a lot of us were still deeply traumatized by what had happened on our campuses, by the way in which um, we were uh, treated, by the ways in which we felt violated on multiple levels. I mean, I think in the conversation of change, we should also talk about how change is received, how change is approached. And I think that is usually the argument from uh, the corporates and the institutions which we seek change from. So uh, I think it's the biggest question, how do we tackle confronting uh, power, the people who are able to bring change in the institution. Thanks, Augustine.